that's that's what we got. A whole of fucking uh, X Men on Krakoa. You know, they're all there. Just go, uh, every fucking one of them. Every fucking one of them. Ah, fake laugh, hiding real pain. What I think has happened is things that have fundamentally changed, and there's a lot of people that can't shake the old habit. Right? There was once upon a time, whether you knew it or not. What we often deemed as the legitimate form of whatever entertainment that we were viewing, consuming, whatever. It came, it had to come through a certain place. And that has a way of like tricking you into believing like that's the only thing that exists, right? Like it's like it came through here and that's that everything else outside of that is like somehow illegitimate. Okay. I think with. Especially with Hollywood, but not exclusive to Hollywood. I think with a lot of other entertainment aspects like comics, you have these people that have this status quo of how they have done things. They all got churned through the same system, right? This is why it's often get your buddies here and then we'll create this. And this is why it's like a cycling through of certain talent because they've all gone through that thing, that, that status quo. And that status quo unfortunately isn't as reliable as what it once was and because they're so rooted in that they don't know how to pivot they can't and that's what i that's my conclusion that i came to because at some point i was like man these people are just dumb they don't know how to read markets they 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 don't know what they're fucking doing and maybe yeah there's still some element of that but also it's like maybe they can't pull up is that something that we we haven't considered that they quite literally can't shake like they can't, they don't know, they don't know anything else. Well, How they've been doing, well, they think that they know better than the customer. I mean, they, they've been able to get away with it in the past, right? They can't do that anymore. People are able to, you got streamers, you have other forms of entertainment, gaming's exploded, all these other different forms of entertainment where people feel like we're seeing this in a the theater, ass. Why is mm -hmm. it that? And this is why. This is what I'm trying to tell creators. I know it's just as elitism, like everybody that, especially professional critics, right? They think that they determine what the, the audience thinks is to be good. Okay, have your fucking fall guy. Who cares? The, how, how did fall guy? How did fall guy do in the fucking box office? Ass. Let's get real, uh, real quick. Not how did good. it do? Not good. Okay, he's gonna lose money. Okay, gonna lose money. But the reviews say that it's fantastic. Ass. It's a fun film. It's not good enough. Nobody it's cares. It cost 130 million to make, which it shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Well, the same could be said. I mean, yeah, there's it's, it's a little more divisive, but the same thing was saying with this Furiosa bullshit. Well, you got people that are like, oh, well, it's okay for what it is. Not good enough. Your budgets are out of control, and mm -hmm. people have lost complete interest in, in your shit. It's not the, the, the status quo is, is not a thing anymore. The standards. There are no standards anymore to quote fucking pet here. It's just not there. And maybe they can't adjust. And this is all they know. All they know is how they've been doing it for the better part of 50 fucking years, man. Half a century. But, okay, but Disney know that they're going antithetical to their audience. DC know that they're going antithetical to their I audience. I like to think. Marvel do. They know this. It, you 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 can pivot a better fucking writer an artist look what look what yeah. happens when you actually produce something good look what happens when you put ultimate spider-man out put hickman on it's a great read it doesn't have any of that fucking nonsense which we've known that's been in it's a good big seller massive seller transformers sky skybound skybound for fuck's sake yeah. who who hell who who, who? you know they, they do that, put a good team on, good writing, good art, uh, really compelling story, massive seller. It's not fucking rocket science. It's not. No, I'm not saying it's difficult by any means. It's not. Now, what? are they selling like they used to 20, 30 years ago? No, they're not. They're absolutely not. But comparative, when you got Transformers outselling all of your fucking Batman, <laughs> whoa. Never mind all of you, Batman, because Batman's at the top. Everything that DC's doing, yeah. that's when it, that's when you just like, hello, hello. You got to your stories have got to be good. You got to you, if you say like, okay, our audience is is aging out. 
our audience is aging out. We need to bring new new audience in, okay? Well, guess what? Maybe don't treat that audience like a fucking spastic like I, you've been doing. I, bro, I can't. It, it, this is one of the things that I don't quite understand because it's it's also we, we we don't just see it in mainstream. Maybe it is people that have come from the mainstream that do it, but I've seen it in independent space. And one thing that I can't fucking quite for the I mean, audience viewers, please help me understand why these people think that it's a good idea to go after paying customers, even if they're not your own. It's one thing to be like, this thing is not of quality or I, of your quality or your standards and you don't like it. You're free to voice your opinion. But what I cannot understand, especially when there's a lot of uncertainty in the future, what I cannot understand is people saying the buying customers of this thing that works or has worked in the past suck. I don't fucking get it. I, I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. It's like, well, isn't that an audience of people that are willing to buy your shit? Even, even if you maybe haven't tapped into that market yet, that's still an audience of people that eat. So this is what I don't understand. Like, it's like, okay, for example, why would why would you, just because they aren't getting older, why would you shit on the fan that's been there that has proved that they could, just because they're five years older, but they proved that they're willing to pay for it why would you sacrifice them for the sake of trying to appeal to this uncertain younger market? Why would you do that? Insecurity, because they know more than you do. That's because the problem. You, you, you know that you're not there on merit. You know that they know more. They know what they want from those characters. You don't want to give it to them. You know, you like you like. We, we go to this. This is a very easy go to. You like you like uh, you like Tim Drake. Uh, you like his story. You like you like his uh, romance element with Stephanie Brown. You, you, you like how he's developed as a character. Yeah, you like all that. All right, sucking dick now. Thirty years now, now he's just going to start fucking. St fucking uh, hell, bro. That's, that's Tim Drake now. That's Tim Drake. Dead, dead, dead in the water. Gone. Bye. Man, he's off. done. He, he's dead cooked, character. bro. He's dead fucking character. out of there. Throw him in the trash. Throw him in the trash. You killed him, Bobby. Iceman. Same. Same thing. Character behaves a certain way for decades, 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 decades. <laughs> fucking Dow, fucking dick for a living now. Gone. Bye. Out the window. See ya. In the trash. In the trash. That character's done. It's not. It's not repairable. These characters are now dead. The 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 gone. That's that's what we got. A whole of fucking uh, X Men on Krakoa. You know they're all there. Just got, uh, every fucking one of them. Every fucking one of them. Every story, fucking psychopath, fucking blah, blah, blah. Uh, fucking all in it, all in the bin. Every fucking one of them. Every, all of it, all of it. The whole fucking going in the bin. The whole fucking lot. It's all done. You killed it. You killed it. You've killed everything. Oh, fuck, Jonathan, man. Jonathan Kent. Jonathan Kent, I'm Superboy and growing up. No, you're not. You're sucking fucking dick. Get it in your mouth right now. Uh, done. Dead character. In the bin. In the bin. Another dead character. Fucking dead. Done. You killed them all. Why aren't people buying our fucking dog shit? I don't know. We just take established characters, stick a cock in their mouth, and think <sighs> they're progressive. It is textbook arrogance, man. And that's what... I mean, these egos, these guys' egos got inflated. And that's what's happening right now is that people are finding out that maybe daddy's sugar daddy's money is going to run out. But it got right. inflated by each other. Well, yeah, because there's it's a it's a circle jerk of motherfuckers who are trying to impress each other. None of them buy each other shit, right? And if they do, it's like you know some like exclusive access or some shit. But none of them are actual buyers, right? It's a circle jerk of elitists, right? That are trying to impress each other. They're making material to get a pat on the back, an approval, and praise and admiration from their fucking peers. Well, guess what? If you are an entertainer, I don't give a fuck what it is that you perform. Music, whether it's comic books, whether it's movies, the vast majority of the people that are customers of your product don't actually create that product. They're just viewers. They're just listeners. They're watchers. That's what they are. They're not your fucking peers, man. And I know me even saying that it's probably going to be somewhere. Oh, this is Eric's going at the comic book industry or something gay like that because they don't like hearing the fact that your fucking opinion is not nearly held in as high regard as what you think, man.
because you don't matter. The end of you don't like the customers are who matter. Yeah. How they view the shit matters just because you think it's fucking awesome. Just because you think, well, you've thrown all this shit at the wall. Gay, transgendered, fucking first action he hero Jennifer Lawrence movie film. Everybody praise, everybody uh admire us. This is the greatest thing ever. What do you mean we lost two hundred million dollars? Well, the audience just isn't good enough to like our shit. It just went over their heads. Not smart. It was worth it. It was worth that loss. It was worth it to, to, to put that message in. The message of Jesus fucking Christ, we are so obnoxious. Arrogance, man. It's fucking arrogance. This is like, like, look, man, if I can give you any advice, if you are an aspiring creator out there, I'm going to be 100 and they're not going to like me saying it. The truth is, is that the opinions of your fucking peers m most oftentimes won't fucking matter. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. 